How's she going? I thought I'd uh, show a little bit about ignition timing marks on this old. That mark, the bottom is topped and center. This is five degrees before. That's 10 degrees before. Um, from my experience, they run for most power at about 36 degrees um, with the timing all in but I'm not going to put a timing tape on it because they blow off and uh, yeah I'll show you how and I, I don't have a dial back time light or anything either I just have the old school kind so this is how I do it measure your harmonic balancer on the outside this one happened to be I used uh, millimeters I usually use the Ukrainian metric but I use millimeters this time because I don't feel like dealing with a million fractions so the diameter was 177 so I took 177 and times it by 3.14 which give me 556 mils now 550, 556 mils over 360 degrees equals 1.54 millimeters per degree um, I'm gonna do it by 31 instead of 36 the reason being if I do it by 31, I can, if I have the 31 mark in the dead center, it'll be at 36 degrees and then I'll still have a scale on both sides of it because this is five degrees advanced. So that's why I did it. If I marked it on 36 degrees, then I would only have a scale going this way, not this way. So that's why I subtract the five off and it's going to line up there. So once you get that all figured out, so uh, 177 mil diameter times pi equals 556 millimeters divided by 360 degrees equals 1.54 millimeters per degree times 31 equals 48. So take a small tape, measure from the top dead center mark down, 48, that's my 31 degree mark. So when my timing's all in, I'm going to want this mark at dead center. So anyhow, that's how I do it. Not bad for getting my grade 10 only. So until next time.